Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos. Your first stop for easy Elden Ring gameplay. You don't need to get good, you just need to get slack. And we just finished taking down Renella. And we're 40,000 runes richer. Um, let's go to some place where I typically like to do commerce. The Church of Ella. I believe I'm just a couple like a couple thousand runes of leveling up twice. Also, I think I've been carrying around an extra flask charge that I didn't uh I didn't bother. It's like not that I really needed it. Let me just check the inventory here. Go to Oh yeah, see I got three golden seeds. Okay, so my bad. Let's add that. Flask. Add charge to flask, use three golden seeds, yes please. And allocate flask charges. For what's coming up next, I would say two and a lot of FP. Alright, and just make sure I don't have any uh, sacred tears. No, I do not. Alright, level up. Uh, points into Vigor. We're kind of at that point where we're getting dangerously close to where bosses can kill us before we can take a health flask. So, a couple points into Vigor. And as I see, yeah, I see I'm about three and a half thousand runes short. So let's just go to the ATM and make a quick withdrawal. Okay, yeah, got a beautiful little to-do list here. Which will eventually bring us to Fort Farrell. I looked this up, I googled it, it's actually a word. I don't know what language, but... Fort Farrell is the way they said to pronounce it. That's what I'm going with. If I'm mispronouncing it, well, blame Google. <laughs> Two reasons we're going to Fort Farrell, which shall be revealed shortly. Uh, don't come near me! Don't come near me! I got a little too close to him. That's more like it. And one more. Still alive. Good on you. Here we go. Next. To the round table. Level me up, baby. More points into vigor. Alright, so now our health is yeah 951 that's that's acceptable next we can talk to the finger reader let me just see if i can uh just temporarily adjust my key binding so i can actually look at the finger reader while um or at the the two fingers Let's see. Oh, you can't use that key? There's so many keys you can't use. Okay. Okay, so it's O. Oh. See if this works. All right, here we go. I had my doubts, but my look at you. Only once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there, the fingers show.
shattered with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika. To become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The Fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this, a token of farewell. <laughs> now, go forth. Become Elden Lord. Okay, I should have just the, uh, the camera moving so I can move up and down as well. Okay, I'll fix that off camera. Yeah, I found some spare keys I could use for that so that I can actually turn the camera while um, talking to an NPC. Alright, so what you just gave us was the talisman pouch. We now have three talisman slots. For what's coming up next, I recommend uh, the green turtle, the radagon icon, and the graven school talisman. Alright, green turtle, radagon, graven school. Done and done. Next, um, we could talk to Gideon to get a little backstory and some instructions on how to proceed. Gideon, my man, they took down the witch. Well, I see you found another great room. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that okay. lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. Very good. It will be done. Next, um... My notes say fast travel to the scenic isle. Why notes? Oh yeah, we have to talk to Raya. Okay, that's a good idea. Up here in the Lyurnia of the Lakes. Scenic Isle. This one right here. Raya an individual who'll give us more information about um, how to proceed. It's right here. So let's go to Scenic Isle. Very good. Okay, and we're just gonna leave that giant land octopus alone. He's only worth 500 runes to kill him, and we know that there are much easier ways of making 500 runes. So, sorry, buddy, you just ain't worth it. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. Please. Over here. Okay. What's up? Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian, and now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only, he too is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Uh, okay, let's see what you have to say. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Alright, and the thug that she's speaking of is actually the guy at Boiled Prond... Boiled Prond Shack, which we've already visited, so we can just fast travel there. You there. 
What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Um. Yeah. Look. Um. Give me the necklace. Ah, that necklace. What you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. He's got like this iron mask on. That's pretty cool. Um. Okay. Let's cut a deal. On, Chief. First, you hand me the runes. And don't try nothing, neither. Alright, two things you could do. You could buy it from him for a thousand runes, or you could just kill him. I've never tried killing him, but I read about it. I read that you can kill him. I'm not gonna kill him. I was gonna buy. It. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dang it. I'm like. Okay. Just like a little chump chain short. Okay, hang on, dude. I'll be right back. Okay? Um, you can get some chump change at the Church of Ella. Kill one of the soldiers up the way. He's always worth 77, 77 runes. Oh, there's the... Oh, I had one in my inventory. But I don't necessarily want to use that. So we use this one. That'll work. Okay, I got the money. Bloody swine. Decided to play ball now, have you? You'll be wanting the necklace then. Yeah. Give it over. Hey. Mm. Alright. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. At this point, you can actually oh, buy boiled prawns off him. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet me price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. Okay, so here we go. 600 runes will get you a consumable, which will raise your physical damage negation by 15% for one minute. Uh, whether it's worth it or not. Well, I'll leave that to you. I don't think it's worth it. Um, tell us more about Raya. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? Alright, well, sort the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't alright, that one. Lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. Huh. <laughs> gaping asshole. Check what he says after you've gone through all of this dialogue. Check what he says now. Marika's tits. You must be hungry. <laughs> Cursing by Marika's tits. How about that? Okay. Um, we're back to Raya. By America's tits, I tell ya. She was a sight for sore eyes. You gotta love it. All right, um, let me give me that mushroom. And Okay, we got your necklace. Thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Okay, yeah, here's your necklace. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, 
in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. Mm, I see a stalwart tarnished who might join our house. Really you are not. very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Ooh, of an invitation. The Volcano Manor invitation, all right. Brave tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau. Altus Plateau. Of the Erd Tree. Okay. Most tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight. Amongst a family of champions. Anything else? Oh, and one more thing. Only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus. The Grand Beyond Lift of the Dectus. Road. But the lift has been defunct for an age. Meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff at the base of the valley near the grand lift there's an old tunnel it was excavated from both ends linking liernia to the altus plateau i have faith in you a champion through and through i do hope that we can meet again all right so um he's referring to An area that we have yet to map out. The Altus Plateau is right in this area here. Here's the Grand Lift of Dectus, and she just told us there's two ways to get up to the Altus Plateau. We can either go by the Grand Lift of Dectus, or we can go by the ravine and take the tunnel right here. Um, depends on your character build. For this particular build, for our prisoner, we could easily get the other half of the Dectus Medallion. We already have one half, which we got from Fort Height. If you look in inventory and look to keys, there we go. Dectus Medallion, left half. Join the medallion to operate the Grand Lift of Dectus. So we just need the right half. Where's the right half, Slack? The right half is at Fort Ferroth. A relatively dangerous place, but we can manage it. Fort Ferroth is in Dragon Barrow. It's also home to the Johnny Megantic White Dragon, which we can kill for like a bazillion runes. Fort Ferrith is right here. That's exactly where it is. Alright, and um, we're going to have to do this anyway, so just let me show you exactly what's up. This is the high road that she referred to. We can go to Bellum Church and ride around to the front door of the Grand Lift of Dectus discover the side of grace there, which we'll have to do anyways. Alright, there is an enemy camp right here that's going to be launching projectiles at us, artillery at us. That's what we can do is just go around it, take the high road up here. Is it here? Or a little further up? I think it's, I think it's around here. Anyways, we could take the high road and go along the cliff here and just go around the enemy camp because I've, I've gone through the whole camp, but there's really nothing noteworthy in the camp. You know, you make a little jump change for killing all the enemies, but I don't think it's worth it. All right. I believe it's right here we have to go. That'll get us, get us on the high ground. Yep. 
Yep. Okay, so the enemy camp is there. You go straight up there and see they're already launching stuff at us. Even if you wanted to take down the enemy camp, the best way to do it would be to do what I'm doing right now, take the high ground. And you could easily do it with a rock sling. If you put the rock sling in the left hand, it's basically like a sniper. A sniper staff. Yeah, right there. You can see the catapult right there. You can just stand up here. As long as you can target him, the rock sling will reach him. For example. Okay, so if you want to rock sling all those guys to death, you're in a little jump change. There you go, that's what you do. I'm not going to bother with that. There's the Grand Lift deck to stay ahead. Oh, wait. There, Crystal Bud. And you can go down this way. You get safely down. And swing it on around to the front door of the Grand Lift of Dectus. And I believe this is a golden rune. No, it's dragon wing grease. And there's the side of grace up ahead. So now, once we have the other half of the the Dectus Medallion, we can simply fast travel back here. Stand on this big circle here, and you'll get a prompt to use the Grand Lift of Dectus, and then um, you get taken up to the Altus Plateau. All right, so let's go get the right half at Fort Ferreth. Kick this off at Dragon Barrow Fork. And let's put a beacon right here. And gallop by this dragon, he won't mind. Ah no, calm down, calm down. Take a Valium, right? Just passing through. Alright, once you come to the beacon, we're going to push back up this way. And here is the Elder Dragon Grail, the big white dragon that everyone goes apeshit at the beginning about. It's the one you can kill for 60,000 runes if you use the Gold Pickle Foul Foot. It'll net you 90,000 runes. It's pretty much harmless. Let's just go to the side of Grace, get everybody to calm down.
You can do this right at the beginning of the game if you got like 15 minutes on your hands. Just take any bleed weapon, flail, morning star, something like that. Go up to the dragon. Spend 10 or 15 minutes whacking him. And you get yourself, like I said, 90,000 runes. Everybody knows, well, a lot, not everybody, but a lot of people know that. Um, it's basically, you know, a chip that you cash in at any time in the game. You want to cash in at the beginning of the game? All the power to you. I think that the easiest way for us to take him down would be the hook claws. I've experimented with a number of different weapons. I tried the flail. Um, it takes forever. The hook claws work really fast, especially with your, when you're dual wielding them, right? And make sure you got the gold pickled. Everyone should have a gold pickled fowl foot that we picked up from Stormville Castle, and just start wailing away at him. And every once in a while, you're gonna do hemorrhaging damage, do a lot of damage. There you go, like that. See that 13,000 there? Just keep wailing away. This guy's getting upset. This is not usual. Here, I got another hemorrhage. There is half his health is down already. Okay, it's getting pretty close to the point where... We so, let's take our gold pickled foul foot. This will last for three minutes, so we gotta kill him within the next three minutes, which is highly likely. This will give us 50% more runes. There we go. A little more. That's it. Watch the bottom right corner of the screen. Sixty-four thousand plus a bonus ninety thousand, or a bonus thirty thousand for a total of ninety thousand runes. Cha ching. Like I said, that's a chip you can cash in anytime. A lot of people like to do that right at the very beginning of the game. Have a ton of money. Power level up to like, I don't know, level 35 right away or something like that. That's the thing that, um, in my humble opinion, I th think it robs you of the, of the gaming experience if you use it right away at the beginning because you just don't really feel pressured to earn your leveling up. You know what I mean? In my humble opinion. But, you know, different strokes for different folks, you know, uh, hey. I have more runes. Not for a first playthrough, you know. Maybe for like, you know, following playthroughs where you just want to avoid the grind.
All right, so we've leveled up Vigor enough. Let's start putting points back into intelligence. Done and done. Oh yeah, and our runes are okay. Talismans are okay. All right, now what I want is meteorite staff there, the ore blade there, shield here. Oh yeah, and everybody should farm some cave moss and some dragonfly head in order to make some neutralizing boluses. He's going to be really useful as we go into Fort Faroth, which is actually pretty hellacious, but it got me some strategy. Oh, Rick dead. So, yeah, I've got some uh, farming videos up where you can get um, cave moss and great dragonfly head. Check those out. They're in the farming video section. Wait a minute. That's on my other site. On my other site, major slack attack. I've, I'm working up a section of Elden Ring farming location videos and there I've got great farming locations for Herba, Cave Moss and Great Dragonfly Head. Go check them out. I'll put a link in the video description all right, where you can easily farm all those. Alright so I'm going to see you next video when every, I'm assuming everybody's got at least 10 Herba, 10 Cave Moss and 10 Great Dragonfly Head. You're not going to need that many. Maybe 5 but it's good to have 10 just in case because these guys in here will poison you all right, and you don't want to get poisoned right? Alright, so thanks for watching, and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, post a comment, tell your friends about my channel, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.